Hey guys, I'm Lisa Tedder with Tedder Bear Stamping. I am a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in North Carolina. If you are in need of a demonstrator, I would love to be your girl. So um, anytime you purchase from me, anytime at, uh, any amount after $35, I will send you a PDF full of 16 projects with pictures and step-by-step -step instructions. So I hope that you take me up on that. And um, I also have a blog that is uh, tetterbearstamping.com. And every video that I do, I try to put it out there so that you can see pictures that are close up and get more on the dimensions if you miss them on the video. So hang in here and let's do this together. All right, thanks. Okay, so this is the card that we're going to be doing today. It uses the Life is Beautiful stamp set and um, a winter scene. I sent these out to my downline and um, or team members and they inquired on how I made it. So I'm going to show you and then hopefully they'll be watching too. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start off with this and it's measured at five by three and three quarters and um, Seaside Spray is the name. I am going to go ahead and start with um, Pacific Point ink and I'm going to use brushes like this. They're makeup brushes. You can find them at the dollar store get them online. I don't remember where I got mine, but um, it just makes sponging a lot easier. I still love my Stampin' Sponges from Stampin' Up. Still love them because I use them constantly. So, um, but this just makes it a little bit easier for me to do what I'm working on right to now. So, I, you go ahead and the key to sponge is the, as I just do this, get it really good on there or well, as my son would say, if that's the right way of saying it. And always, 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 always go off a little bit. And then start from the edge and then come in. And it just gives you a better, even though I have some splotchy there, I'm hoping that we'll get rid of that. So you just keep coming in. I'm trying not to have my table squeak. I really need to work on that and have some spray handy. So you just are going to keep bringing it in until it, you know, gets to be the right consistency or color that you like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just chuckling at my table. And let me tell you, your fingers do get a little bit messy, even though you're not using a sponge because you're still holding on to it and it's a little bit wet. So just be prepared, prepared for that. Okay, so I always leave a light center because that kind of makes it look so pretty. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put this away for now. Probably for good, but I'm bringing in Night of Navy now and I'm going to switch brushes and do the exact same thing. Just try not to come in quite as far because we want the um, Pacific Point to still shine. And it does help if you kind of come from the outside in that also helps the smudginess. I have one customer. It's a really good friend of mine. She is so good at this now. All of her sponging looks awesome because she has followed my advice and started off of the paper. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. See how it still has the light in the middle? That's going to add to the effect. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this so that I have a nice clean base because it looks better. See, my hands are dirty though. Hopefully it's not going to get what well, on my pants. Hopefully it's not going to get it bad. All right, so I am going to use the soft suede for the tree. And the best way to ink on a bigger stamp is to do it from the top down because then you can see where you've missed and it just works nicer. All right, so I'm going to put him right in the middle and towards I want the trunk to come up a little bit from the bottom. Okay. Oh, I'm really pushing hard. My hands are getting red. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. Now what we want to do before we go on to the next step, well, first I'm going to put the, the cute little birdhouse on here. And hopefully I line him up right. Oh, I did a good job. Sometimes I surprise myself. All right, I'm going to set this aside just for a little bit and let it dry because it does tend, because this is still so, this is so wet around here that it will hold on to the white embossing powder. So let's put that aside. I'm going to come in with a piece of white that is the same width or maybe a little bit bigger than what this is. So it's three and three quarters it should be three and three quarters and then I have it by around two so you're gonna come in with your paper snips and I know I have them because I put tried to put everything here we'll see if that is true when I keep working if I have to get up and go get something my scissors there we go all right so what you're gonna do now you can use a die to do this but I kind of like how it, you know, has a little bit more, um, my aesthetic, I guess, on here. So now, let's see, except for when you don't have a very clear, it was bumpy. I didn't want a bumpy one. All right. So what you're going to do is come in with your Wink of Stella and just do the edges and it's easier to do that now and I'm going to get this to well I think I picked up an, an old Wink of Stella let's see if it's got enough mm, not really so I am going to have to go get me another Wink of Stella okay so see I ended up having to go get something after all even though I had it here it was just an old one so I'm just doing the 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 edge because it really makes it look sparkly if we still sold dazzling diamonds I would be using that all right so you're going to want it to be opposite so it cut it like whoop I cut it like this and so now I'm going to turn this over and then bring it up so that it's different wavy patterns. And I have to do this one too with the Wink of Stella. Okay, and then for this piece right here, I am going to stamp, and I'm doing it before I go ahead and put them together. So if I make a mistake, I can turn it over. The hello from the stamp set okay my head might be getting in here but I apologize and hopefully I have it straight hey that's not too bad okay then I'm gonna come in with some well I'll wait for that I was gonna sponge this but I can wait because I can do it after I do everything else okay so now I can bring this in and figure out how much I want for my bank, my snow bank. And I like it like that. Okay, so now that's going to go on the bottom here. I will be trimming some off because I didn't cut it to begin with at the exact side as I needed. 
All right, and I will be doing that in a minute too. I'm hoping that this is dry enough now. So let's come in with our embossing buddy, cornstarch, uh, dryer sheet, whatever you have to stop static. Um, so that when we do our embossing, especially when it's a colored emboss, uh, like clear is still bad, but not as bad. But white and black to me are the hardest to not have splatter everywhere. Okay, so we're going to bring in our, I have it. Oh, here we go. Our snow uh, flakes and our in uh, Versamark. And you're just going to, don't smush with the Versamark. Let me move this down. Don't smush because these little pieces around here will get it and then you'll have halos around your, your uh, snowflakes and that's not very pretty. So you just want to lay it on there and just kind of move it around so you make sure, but don't push down hard. And then just start and hold it down a few seconds so that you make sure that it transfers onto your paper nice and crisply. And it will stay wet long enough for us to get this done. Okay. Now we'll see whether or not it was wet still. Oh, I did good. Okay. See, I get tickled with myself. Uh, all right, now for the magic. I will be speeding it up, but I still want to show you. Let me make sure I get it to it. There we go. Okay, so you know it's done when... You can see the shimmer on it. I don't know if you can catch that. But it becomes really bright and it has a nice uh, shininess to it. So I'm going to let it cool off just for a second and then I'm going to wipe off the excess embossing buddy. Okay. Okay, so that cleans that up really well. And then I'm going to... Um, come in with Night of Navy and sponge my edges so that it's even darker than what they are now because I really like it when it goes from light to dark. I'm not going to do the bottom because we are putting the snow bank in there. But see how that even makes it pop more. Okay. I'm going to keep that sponge out because I'm going to do these edges. Just the outside edges. Not the snow part. Now I didn't re-ink this because I didn't want it to be really dark on the white. But if you can tell, it looks very soft and it kind of, uh, I don't know, it kind of blends in really nicely. I don't know that you can see that or not. The light goes away there. I know it looks a little blurry on my edge, so hopefully it's not for you. All right, so if I can find my adhesive, which I stuck my ink pad over it. So really, it is pretty simple, though it's very pretty. And since I've sponged this, I need to put this on and then trim that edge and then sponge it again because I didn't realize. I forgot that I had it going over. Okay, now we need that sponge again. Okay, so it's going to be backed onto a piece of white, and you're going to need two of these, one for the front and one for the inside. And this is 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8. I don't like a huge border when I have it dark, light, dark, because then it really makes it stand out. 
So let's move this so I can lay this down. And I'm using the Seal Plus. Starting next week, next Thursday at 4 Eastern Time, I'm going to start doing Facebook Lives. And I'm hoping you will join me. And um, help me to see what, oh, see this Stampin' Seal Plus is pretty strong. Okay, so I'm peeling off some of this paper, but that's okay because I'm going to turn it over. <laughs> Always a fix. I didn't quite get it in the right spot. So what happens when you don't have much of a layer. Okay, there we go. All right. Then I'm going to come in with my Knight of Navy, which is 8.5 by 5.5. And, and I put some adhesive on there. And I'm going to score that with my, my Stampin' Clear at four and a quarter. Now I did notice the other day, somebody had said, and I had never noticed, I think it was uh, our uh, head lady, uh, Sarah Douglas, that on these is a little like kind of cheat sheet. Uh, this has got a point. It has a little arrow that has a point. That means it will cut. This one is a dull and it has a rounded edge. That means it will score. Didn't know that until she pointed it out. So we're going to go ahead and put this here and put this on here. Okay, isn't that pretty? I'm not done yet. We're going to put Life is Beautiful on the inside in the Night of Navy again. And hopefully I get it straight. Ah, good job. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the inside. Normally I would layer, but I don't have layers on the front, so I'm just going to leave it here. I do have a layer, but it's not where it will match. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that in. And then I have to finish by putting some bling or something on the front that will make it shimmer and shine. And I don't know that you guys have seen these. These are the Elegant Faceted Gems. And they come in clear, gold, and white. And I want to use, trying to find my pick a tool. Oh, it's right here in front of me. I want to use the clear because I just want to make it shimmer. I don't want to take away from the snowflakes. So I'm just going to use small clear ones to make it really shine. Let's see. Okay, so now, can, whoop. can you see the sparkle? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so that's it for this card. I hope you like it. I am going to be doing um, a still a video a week and my Facebook Live. So hopefully you'll join me. And I will see you next time. Thank you.